What happens when family comes first, even in the public eye? This weekend, NFL star Jason Kelsey found himself at the center of a heated controversy, defending his brother Travis against a fan slur, an altercation that sparked police involvement and strong reactions from his teammates. Let's break down the incident, Jason's response, and what others in the NFL are saying about the viral phone smash. Over the weekend, Philadelphia Eagles center Jason Kelsey made headlines, but not for his moves on the field. While walking through a crowd at a Penn State game, Jason encountered an unruly fan who decided to target his family, specifically his brother, Kansas City Chiefs tight end Travis Kelsey. The fan used an offensive slur about Travis's high-profile relationship with Taylor Swift, which, understandably, didn't sit well with Jason. In a moment of fury, Jason snatched the fan's phone, smashed it to the ground, and followed up with a bold question of his own, sparking both a police investigation and widespread debate on social media. Stepping into the controversy, NFL defensive lineman Colin Saunders, a former teammate of Travis and the brother of Taylor Swift's backup dancer Cameron Saunders, made his stance clear. Saunders didn't hold back, defending Jason's actions with a powerful statement online. He empathized with Jason, saying he's faced similar provocations for years and that Jason had nothing to apologize for in standing up for his brother. Saunders called Jason one of the greatest men he knows and emphasized that sometimes defending family is worth the backlash, ending his post with a supportive birthday shout-out to Jason. This wasn't the first time Colin Saunders and Travis Kelsey had each other's backs either. The two share a long history with the Chiefs, winning two Super Bowl titles together in 2020 and 2023. Beyond the field, Travis has formed strong connections with the Saunders family, even joining Cameron Saunders on stage as a backup dancer during Taylor Swift's era's tour, solidifying the bond between the two families. For his part, Jason didn't stay silent about the incident. Addressing it first on ESPN's Monday Night Countdown, he admitted that his reaction was a lapse in judgment. He acknowledged the fan slur deeply affected him, but he regretted responding in anger. Jason reflected that he doesn't believe meeting hate with hate solves anything and shared that he strives to live by the golden rule, treating people with respect and kindness. He later expanded on his thoughts in his podcast New Heights, co-hosted with his brother Travis. Jason admitted that while the fans' dehumanizing comments struck a nerve, he's committed to doing better and handling situations with dignity moving forward. Travis also showed strong support for his brother, acknowledging how much the scrutiny and media coverage have weighed on Jason. He addressed the fans' actions directly, calling him a clown for disrespecting Jason and their family. Travis applauded his brother's openness in owning his actions and emphasized that, at his core, Jason doesn't choose hate, a testament to the respect and integrity he brings to the field and to his family. As the incident continues to be investigated by campus police, and with ESPN choosing not to punish Jason, the situation raises questions about boundaries, family loyalty, and public respect. Fans and followers will undoubtedly be watching closely as the story unfolds, and Jason's vow to uphold his values will be something his supporters rally behind. That's a wrap for today's video. Give us a thumbs up if you think Jason handled it well, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe to AU News for more updates on your favorite athletes and all the latest in pop culture.